How are you? It's a Dr. Amoso. Today I am at a Kenyatta University, but I want to uh, discuss uh, on the rights. There's a question that usually comes asking you about the rights. Which are some of the rights that we have uh, that are usually asked uh, are in different uh, persons that comes uh, at the end of uh, each year. We are going to start with our first right. The first right is the right to a property. It is a right of any individual in uh, Zimbabwe to own a property. So we've got the right uh, to a property. We also have got the right to our uh, education. If you are a child, if you are a learner, if you are a student, it is your right uh, to uh, go uh, to school. It is also a right to a uh, meet. It is a right to assembly. You can associate, you can meet with any person as long as you are in Zimbabwe. We also have got a right to a health care. You're not feeling well. You have got a right to go to any health care and be and are being given uh, any assistance uh, in terms of uh, medication or whatsoever. It is a right to your med care. Then also you've got a right to shelter. If you are a child, if you are a learner, if you are a student or any other person uh, in the country, you have got a right to a shelter. You are supposed to have a good uh, shelter. A right to uh, participate in an election. The right to a uh, vote. It is uh, a right to any person in Zimbabwe uh, to uh, vote. Right to employment. To be employed wherever you want to be employed. It is also your right. And also we have got a right of equality before uh, the law. Everyone is equal uh, before the law. It is a right of any person or any individual in uh, the country. Then the last right that I want to talk about, it is the right of no more, the right of food. You are entitled to a food. If you are a learner, if you are any person in the country, food is your right. So enjoy uh, these rights that we have uh, in the country. It's a Dr. Moso. Thank you.